What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Firewatch. In the... Uh, there's something in there. I don't know. I'm probably going to be killed. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Uh, I gotta know what's going on. Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Alright, let's see. So we're at the kids' hideout. We're supposed to go back into the cave, actually, I believe. Because we got some uh, some gear that we can use to... Uh... Alright, we dropped down, so we don't actually have the ability to go back in. We have to double back. Alright, so in the previous part, before Delilah so rudely interrupted me, a lot of stuff happened. We basically found a research facility where we found a lot of reports on both uh, Delilah and Henry, or there was a report on the both of them. Uh, there were also reports on what I'm almost certain are animals. They were tracking animals, and that made me believe that something's going on that... Uh, let me see if I can find this here. All right, observation report. Uh, postcard note from Dave. All right, here we go. We didn't even read this one. Um, all right, so Henry has been reviewed for about 10 weeks. He's 39 years old. How old is Delilah, actually? Let's find out. 43? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I thought we were young. All right, so for 10 weeks, um, Henry's guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, unsure of himself. He's reliable. Um, he is very susceptible to manipulation, which, you know, is also because of... Uh, the player reading this that they put this in it's like okay this guy is really easy to manipulate basically communicating to the player hey by the way you're probably being manipulated um i don't know it just feels a little ham-fisted to me if that's the word i'm looking for like they're tr they're really trying to make you think this thing so much in fact that it leads me to the belief to believe the exact opposite Wait, what? They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Are you for real? I wonder if they know anything. Well, I mean, that's it's good that they've been found. Uh, dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Well, yeah, especially that fire that broke out. Um, but, you know, it's the game is really trying, and this is just the way I feel. It's really trying to make us think that we are being observed and that there is a lot of shady stuff going on. Leading me to believe that it's the exact opposite and maybe there isn't really that much going on. And these characters are all just explaining it the way maybe they want to see it in a way. Alright, so let's go back in. We have the key. There we go. Someone tried to lock me in here. I mean, we know that something is going on. I just feel like it's not this giant conspiracy. Alright, let's go. But at least now we know that the girls are safe, which actually begs the question... Whose shoe is it that we found? Why is there a shoe in this cave? I mean, I guess there could be no background information to it. It's just a shoe. Somebody lost it. It happens. That could be it as well. Again, maybe that's just the game leading us to believe something like, oh, something's going on. You know, there's a shoe. Maybe there isn't anybody down here at all. Is, I guess, the point that, that I'm trying to make. Alright, look at this. We got a little cliff-type area. I just wonder if that guy that, or whoever it is, really, that locked the door is really out of here. Because if there's still someone out here, that could actually be pretty dangerous. Here we go. Whoa. 
Dude, no, what? What the hell? Ah, oh, shit. You... Oh, God. That's that body. Gotta take evidence. All right, who is this? Oh, no. It is Brian Goodwin. You found Your stuff gave out. Oh, no. Poor fucking kid. I thought he went back, though. And he did lose the shoe. Oh, no. But didn't they leave, like, three years ago? What's going on here? Dude. That is really messed up. No, but wait. Okay, so Brian... Okay, Delilah said earlier that Brian and Ned went home, I believe. Now, we find his body here. I'm guessing that means that Ned might also be still be out here. Report the body. I mean, he is pretty much the only person that was brought up by name, I believe. And we know that Julia's not out here. Or Javier. That was Delilah's boyfriend, I believe. I think I'm starting to piece together the puzzle a little bit. But I feel very, very bad for old Brian there. Oh, man. He was supposed to be like a really sweet kid. Oh, no. He must have fallen from really far. Look at that. That is... Oh, God. That is terrible. All right. Well, now I'm really kind of on edge. What is going on? So someone wanted us to see the body. That's why the key was left there. But why? I don't get that, really. I just hope that we're going to get some answers soon. Drop down. Oh man, it's gonna be this is gonna be devastating to hear for uh, for Delilah. Here we go, entrance to the cave. All right, I guess we're going back here. We gotta call this in now. This is not gonna be a fun conversation to have. Hey D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Sit down. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was Nat. I mean, he was kind of a crazy guy. And he was an asshole, I heard earlier. I don't know. Maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid fucking know-how in his head to get him killed. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Day 79. Oh, God. So that's say we're just gonna pack, we're leaving? Pack up belongings, no! I mean, I guess I'm just taking all of this, huh? You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire, or the site fire, or... 
the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? Um, about what happened to Brian? How this is all connected, I mean, yeah. About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, God. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Um... I was hoping you'd have a plan. That's nice. I, I was okay. hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um... Okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Oh, I will. Oh, God. So this is probably a storm because of the fire that is expanding. Where is this thing going to take us, though? Please don't... Please don't die, Henry. Please don't let that be the ending of the story. Here we go. Where is this thing leading me? Over here? What is it, boy? Where are you leading me? Let's see, is this where I cut down that tree? Nope, it's not. What could it be, though? Is it going to be answers, or is it going to be something bad? I am pretty sure I am headed in the right direction now. In here. There's something in these bushes. Oh, God. Oh, it's through here. It's moving sometimes, it seems. What's your status? Getting close. I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. <laughs> Alright, we're getting very close now. It's beeping quite rapidly. Why well, you're a chopper as well. Oh god, we're getting really close now. Where are we going? Almost there. Oh god. It's up here. Henry. What? Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. The fact that these collars are actually used to fit the tracking devices too, pretty much confirms that these were just used to track deer. So I guess my theory was completely correct earlier about it just being animals. Yeah, hi, Henry. Ned. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept a cold 
cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just fucking didn't sink his ankle the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Oh my god. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. Deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Guilty? What? Wait, is that Henry? Why am I guilty? What are you talking about? Henry keeps to the path, passive, guilty, forthright, no kids, abandoned wife, would not be missed if removed, oh god. This guy was nuts. Delilah. Alright, so let me get this straight. He sees Ned. He was the guy that we saw earlier. We came from the direction of the cave, so this guy freaks out because that's where we came from, maybe. Right? And then he thinks, I'm gonna trek this dude. Brian was a nice looking kid. Oh man, look at him. Sorry, bud. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Yeah, all right. Supplies. Bunch of stuff. Man, no way. This boombox looks familiar. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. She's not she's not even responding anymore. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. I'm taking some pictures. That's actually a good idea. And look at this. This guy was absolutely crazy. 